Good morning, comments, and welcome to Wit AM, your daily newscast of world, national, and local news. We also have entertainment, your daily weather outlook, and campus events. I'm your host, Paulo Gutierrez. The White House says that the three unidentified flying objects shot down in North America last weekend may be connected to the Beijing commercial for research efforts. Press Secretary Karine Jean Prairie said that's what U.S. intelligence agencies are considering. However, she said it won't be clear until the debris is recovered. The Biden administration is announcing new steps to expand the country's electric vehicle infrastructure. One of the steps announced today is a new partnership with Tesla. The electric vehicle powerhouse plans to open part of its charging network to EVs other than Tesla's for the first time. Unity Point Health has started a new policy aimed at patients asking questions through the My Health app. The cost ranges from $36 to $70, and most insurance plans will cover it. The messaging health care providers gained popularity during the pandemic and has remained popular. Fees will not be charged for prescription refills or for making appointments. When we come back, we will take a look at your uh, WIT TV, sports, entertainment, news, and weather. Stay with us. I don't think that many kids in my son's school even do it. He makes fun of his friend who vapes. He would never try it. She's in the soccer. She's on the honor roll. She's just on the table. No way. No way. No way. No way. No way. My kid would never vape. Get your head out of the cloud. Today, nearly 8,000 kids will start vaping. Maybe even yours. Learn about the dangers at talkaboutvaping.org. Dude, you do not look ready. Yep, I guess you're right. Have you watched the news yet? No, I guess I haven't. That's why you're never ready for the day. You need your morning news. Yeah, I guess as a student, I just don't know what news is relevant to me. Just watch Wit AM Monday through Thursday for your morning news, as well as Twalk every Friday afternoon. Is that better? I think this will work. Welcome back. In sports news, the Minnesota Wild will try to end a record cold stretch when they host the Colorado Avalanche at the XL Energy Center tonight. The Twins officially begin spring training in Florida today. Uh, Vikings running back will spend the rest of the offseason recovering from a shoulder injury. Netflix's surprise me button is gone. A company spokeswoman said on Tuesday that the streaming giant discontinued the feature last month because not many users were using it. Netflix induce, introduced the feature in 2021 so people wouldn't have to choose something to watch from the thousands of titles. The company found out that the users come to Netflix with a specific show, movie, or genre in mind. Making the surprise me button mo is mostly useless now. Taking a look at today's weather, today will be uh, the cloudy day with a high near of 24. Tonight will be a mostly cloudy night with a low around 11. And tomorrow it looks to be mostly cloudy, gradually becoming sunny as the day goes on with a high near of 25. Thank you for joining us and if you, be sure to check up on your latest WIT TV programming at our website and our YouTube page. Enjoy the rest of your day.